Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com coming at you with a one box break of 2016-17 Panini Spectra Basketball. The brand new Spectra Basketball got pushed to July, I think, but we got this just in time, so you can still s scratch that uh, that Spectra itch if you have it. Big thanks to all these people right here. A lot of Tims, Ryan Redman with the last spot mojo, a lot of other people getting to the action too, so thank you very much for grabbing your spots. Only $7.99 a spot. That's it. All teams are in. In a quick one box break of 16 to 17. Panini Spectra Basketball. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list. 10 times. 6 and a 4 in break number 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine and tenth and final time, six and a four. After ten times, we got Tim on top and said Yin in the 30 spot. Now, trades are allowed, although I don't usually see a lot of them in a one box break. Six and a four, ten times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10th and final time. After 10 times, we got the Bulls down to the Nets. All right, so Bulls for Tim, Charles, Hawks, Tim, Jazz, Thunder, my Lakers, Brandon Ingram possibilities, San Yin, Rockets, Peter with the Pacers, Tim, Suns and Celtics, Sanford with the Bucks. Tim with the Nuggets, Ryan Redman, Last Spot Mojo, Orlando Magic, Chris with the Kings, Tim with the Trailblazers, Josh Proust with the Pistons, Alan Murdoch with the uh, Timberwolves, Sixers for TC, Tim, if I pull you a Ben Simmons base card, even just the regular ones could be a couple hundred bucks, Pelicans for Tim, Cody with the Hornets, Tim with the Raptors, Wizards, and Grizzlies, Alan with the Heat, Tim with the Warriors, Nick Sanderson with the Mavs, King D with the Clippers, Tim with the Cavs, uh, Chris Parent with the Spurs, Caleb Miller with the Knicks, and Sen Yin with the Nets. Now, I was saying this off camera a little bit earlier about how that particular year, 2016 17, the rookies may not be, maybe not as impressive, especially relative to this rookie class. But I feel like in their second year, a lot of these players have really started to emerge, I think. So I think that makes it worth going back into uh, going back into 1617 basketball products. Now while people are considering a trade, you know, while well, base Ben Simmons would probably Tim TC with the Sixers, base Ben Simmons will will cover your spot and then your spots and then some. Anything numbered? Ooh. That's when that's when that's when uh that's when you start to make the big bucks. All right, so good luck to you. Good luck to everybody. Let me see which one we're going to do. So we did box three. One, two, four, five, and six are left. I'm going to keep rolling the die until we get one, two, four, five, and six. And it's four. That's this box right here, box four. The next one box break is in the store right now. So if you want to do another one, if you want to run it back, we definitely can. There's the final list. Good luck, everybody. It's a quick one box break, low risk, seventy ninety nine a spot, low risk, and potential high reward. What's also great about these basketball products, they always put retired players in there, Hall of Famers, and vet players in there too. You can always stumble across one of those nice autographs. All right, good luck everybody. I actually kind of missed this format, right? The one with the. Uh, the one with the box, Spectra in the box. It looks like a redemption in that middle there. That's a relic on the bottom, okay. All right, so trade window closed. Sorry, King D. You might be lagging behind a little bit, King D. Make sure everyone's live. Okay, here we go, good luck. Could have used a Kyrie in this series. It's not. I guess it's not over yet. Pretty much though, right? Cavs edition of Kyrie Irving goes to TC. 
when we got an Eric Gordon. Gold, 7 out of 10. 10 is his jersey number. So not, not, not quite there, but still a very low-numbered base card. Houston Rockets, Sen Yin with that one. With the Houston Rockets, nice. That card is gold. Tony Parker, our first relic. For the Spurs, 81 out of 99. Tony Parker for the Spurs, that'll go to Chris Parent. Triple Threat, two color, triple relic, Devin Booker, 33 out of 149. 33, what is that, how many points he averages a game? They seem to put guys around him. And revive that Suns-Lakers rivalry, next era relic, nice three color patch. That's 16 out of 25. Brandon Ingram. TC with my Lakers, Laker Joe Mojo. I think Brandon Ingram might be the closest untouchable player. This offseason is going to be crazy. Oh, what are the Lakers going to do? Oh. Jersey and auto, Dan Assell. In his uh, Kentucky Colonels gear. One out of four. What did the Kentucky Colonels turn into? The old, the old Kentucky Colonels. I don't know what they turned into. Did they turn into Bossman would know. Bossman's got some good good ABA knowledge in his head. I think they turned into the Nuggets, right? No, they didn't. This is a uh, They turn into KFC, uh, says Gilo. No, there, there's no. I don't think they. I don't think the Nuggets when they started. Danisell played for the Nuggets afterwards. But they did not. Yeah. So this will be randomized to one person in the break. Because usually there's like an old St. Louis Hawks team that turned into the Atlanta Hawks, and they've got there's some. Uh, I think the Kansas City Monarchs turned into the Sacramento Kings. So there's a lot of associations there, but I guess that didn't happen with the Kentucky Colonels. All right. Next up is, nice. We were just talking about him. Jalen Brown, rookie, jersey, and autographs. This is one of those players where in 2016, you're kind of like, eh. But in 2017, 18. All right, so that goes to the Celtics. That'll be for TC. All right, next up is for the Clippers. Spectacular swatches, jersey and auto, Cedric Maxwell. Oh, were they the Kansas City Kings? Oh, uh, maybe I was thinking of the baseball team. Monarchs? Baseball on the brain. 93 out of 149, Cedric Maxwell. Clippers, King D, tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Got another rising star, Chris Dunn, Jersey and Auto. Timberwolves, Alan Murdoch on the board. One thirty six out of one ninety nine. And last but not least, Bradley Beal. Spectacular swatches. Well, what are the Wizards gonna do to retool? That'll be interesting. Oh, am I thinking Cincinnati Royals? That turned into the Sacramento King or the Kansas. 15, I'm, I'm all confused now. You're a wizard, TC. You get the Bradley Beal. What are they going to do in the offseason? It should be interesting. All right. So, Danicell, let's randomize you to one person in the break. Or wait, does our... No, because that's a pro uniform. I'm not sure how we're going to do this. I think maybe our we would do our college rules for that. I forget how we did this with... The previous breaks. It would go to the team that, that he played for the longest. The pro team he played for the longest might be the easiest way to do it. Be 
because that would be like our college rules, right? I'm trying to think this through. It would be like our college rules, actually. But what do I do with players that aren't? Right. You know what? This is going to go the Nuggets. I think it makes sense to go to go the Denver Nuggets. So TC, you'll get you'll get this Dan Sell because I think this would work. Like I was trying to think if we got like a Negro League player right from back in the day, if we pulled that card, that that we would have that go to whatever team that they played for the longest. It would be like the our college rule where if they're in their college uniform, they'll go to the team they're currently on. If they're active or the team they played for the longest, if they're retired, inactive. I think that makes sense. Non-pro uniform, or if they have their high school jersey on, it would be the same. It'd be the same deal too. So, so we're gonna go with that because that's it's the closest to the college, to the college uh, non-pro uniform rule. So, TC Denver Nuggets. That Danisel goes to you. He played for the Denver Nuggets and coached there for for ages anyway. So it makes sense. Thanks everybody. Joe for JaspiesHobbyland.com. We got another one box break coming up. Maybe. It's only $7.99 a spot. Let's do another one. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.